Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to do question 54 from section 15.2, which asks to evaluate the integral, this given integral, by reversing the order of integration. So to reverse the order of integration, first thing is you have to see what is your region, and then rewrite your region in the other type. So let's see what is the region in this case. So D is all x, y such that note that the boundaries of integral describes your region explicitly. Meaning that, just look at here, the inner variable is x and the boundaries for x are boundaries for integral. So x goes from y over 2 to 1 and the outer one is y with boundaries 0 and 2. Okay, now to, to change the order, I have to sketch the region. So what, how can I sketch that region? So to do that, what you need to do is draw all the boundaries, meaning that set the the inequality is equal to, e, change the inequalities to equality and you'll get four equations. Draw them and you pick your region from there. So let me do this. So x equal to 1, y equals to 0, and y equals to 2. Okay. So I have, this is my x, this is my y. Uh, x equals, uh, y equals to 0, so this is y equals to 0. y equals to 2, somewhere here, let me do that, y equals to 2. x equals to 1, so somewhere here, so this is x equal to 1. And what about x equal to y over 2? It is the same thing as y equals to 2x. And if you plug in x equal to 1, y is 2. So it's passing through the intersection, this intersection, and it's passing through the origin. So that is the line here. Okay, now the intersection of these four lines gives me one region, two region. Which one of these guys is the region on which I'm integrating? You can see that just by looking at the variable with variable boundaries, this guy. It says x is less than 1, so x is going to be less than 1, and bigger than this line, so that is my feature. So I'm integrating over this rectangular thing under the graph of y equal to 2x. Now I have to change the type of the region. So this is type 2 region. I have to change it to type 1. So let me then draw the graph again. Okay, that is there. So in this case, that's the same region, but I'm trying to Rewrite it as type 1. Type 1 means that x has constant boundaries. Constant boundaries are the smallest value of x on your region and the highest value of x in your region. So the smallest value is here 0 and the highest one is 1. So I go from 0 to 1 for y. What about uh, for, for x? What about y? y goes this time, so you have to draw the vertical lines. So, you can see y is bigger than this line. What is that line? That line is y equal to 0. So y, sorry. So y is bigger than equal to 0. And y is less than equal to this line. This line is given by y equal to 2x. So y is less than 2x. That's it. I wrote my region as type 1 region. Now my integral, I can rewrite here, is equal. I can change the order. I did the right change uh, of region, uh, the type of region. 
Now I can rewrite my integral. This time, x goes from 0 to 1, that is dx. y goes from 0 to 2x. And then the integrand, oh, this is the y. The integrand is here. Okay, great. Now I have a treated integral. To evaluate the treated integral, do the inner one, then the outer one. So the inner one, let me do the inner one first. I have to integrate this with respect to y. Find antiderivative of this guy with respect to y. This is in terms of x, so it is kind of constant in our case. I have only y here. Antiderivative of y is y squared over 2 cosine of x cubed minus 1. And go from 0 to 2x dx. Fundamental theorem of calculus. Just plug in there. So it is 2x squared. It's just 4x squared. I cancel this to 2x squared cosine of x minus 1, minus, plug in 0, you get 0, so don't write that. Now I have the outer integral, which is just regular in integral, but I don't know how, what is antiderivative of cosine x cubed minus 1, but we are lucky because anti, uh, the derivative of what we have inside cosine is also somewhere there. That means we can use substitution. Set the whole thing inside cos as your new variable. Then uh, the u is going with 3x squared dx. OK, good thing here, as I mentioned, uh, is that I have x squared times dx, x squared times dx. So x squared times dx, from this I can see it's one third of d. Okay, great. Then I have two I have here, one third of du here. Cosine of u is x cubed minus one. So cosine u. Okay, that's it. But I have to change the boundaries too. So if uh, x is equal to 0, plug in x here, 0, you get u is negative 1. If you plug in x equals to 1, then you get u equals to 0. Uh, that's perfect. Now, the lower one gave me negative 1. I put negative 1 here. The upper one gave me 0, so I put 0 up there. Antiderivative of cosine u, it is sine u. So it's 2 thirds of sine u going from negative 1 to 0. Fundamental theorem of calculus, plugging u here, 2 thirds of sine 0 is 0. So to 0 minus 2 thirds of sine of negative 1. And I can simplify this, 2 thirds of sine 1. Okay, very quick uh, wrap up is that I wanted to change the order of uh, integral to be able to evaluate that. First thing is write down your region. It is described completely by boundaries of your integral. If you write it down, then you can sketch it. Just quickly, you draw all the lines, boundary lines, and then figure out which part is your region exactly. Change the type of your region. It was type 2. I changed to type 1. I rewrote my integral as type 1 region. And then it made me uh, capable of writing this integral in the other order. From there, it was just iterated integral. You have to do inner one, and do outer one, and the value we got is two thirds of sine one. Thank you for watching this video.